I want to ask you a question. Is Vindel a true apostle or a false apostle? And before you judge me or condemn me, I will encourage you to listen to what I have to say first because I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm here to say certain things and ask you to think for yourself and decide for yourself. Now, one of the very first things I want to say to you is that according to the Bible, in Luke 17, 21, it says that the kingdom of God is within you. Okay? Therefore, if the kingdom of God is within you, you're also told in the Bible, in Matthew 6, 33, that you must seek first to discover or to find the kingdom of God. And as I would have said before, the kingdom of God is within you. And it says when you found that kingdom that is within you, it says that all these things will be added unto you. Okay? And we look at all the different things that were mentioned in the Bible that says will be added unto you. And when we look at these things, we see all of these things are in the world because someone had a thought, because someone had an idea, because someone had to imagine it. So right there, we see all of the things that have been invented. They're coming from within and been expressed on the outside. Okay? So we realize that thoughts become things. So... Your own thoughts is what is creating your personality. So it means a rapist, a, a thief, a, a, a murderer, whatever personality there is, it all begins with a thought. So basically, it's like your mind is a garden. It is actually a garden and your thoughts are seed. And when whatever seed you sow, that's the fruit you're going to bring forth. So you can only see the result based on the fruit. Now, it brings me to this point to say this to you. Anyone who claims to be an apostle or one who is sent by God, I'm pointing to look outside of yourself or to believe in a savior or a redeemer or a creator or God outside of yourself is going against Luke 17, 21 that says that the kingdom of God is within you. And they are going against Matthew 6, 33 that says also that you must seek first to find the kingdom of God within you. And then all these things will be added unto you. Which means you discover the secret of creation and you're able to, able to create your reality consciously. Therefore, those who are actually sent and are real apostles, they will point you to look inwardly. They will point you to believe in yourself. They will tell you to be responsible for your thoughts and your actions because thoughts become things and we become what we think about most of the time so a person like that who's been sent to you will say to you you can only be transformed by the renewing of your mind because everything is mental everything is psychological everything has to first be a thought everything has to first be imagined a true apostle will say to you that the bible is your spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically and that the bible was for a thought it was for us imagined it was for psychological everything i'm saying here to you it is based on inspiration so if man wrote as they were inspired every book that is written in this world they were written as men were inspired okay so inspiration comes from within all great things come from within. All creativity comes from within. But most of all, I want you to get this. There is only one creator. Therefore, there can only be one creative power. The only creative power there is in this world is the power of imagination and the power of imagining. That is why, my brother and my sisters, whether you want to believe or you want to disbelieve, the truth is God in man is man's imagination for the eternal body of man is his imagination and that is god himself there's no other god there's not a man in the sky there's not a man who is coming back for you or anything like that the savior is within you the redeemer is within you and the redeemer that is in you saint john 1 and verse 3 tells you exactly who he is he says like this without him there was not anything made that was made and all things was made by him now Come and self will teach you that everything that was made, it was first imagined. And everything else that ever going to be made, it must first be imagined. Which means that him is not speaking of a man who existed 2,000 years ago. That him is just a personification that represents the human imagination. And that is why it is very important for you to know that the Bible, it can be interpreted exoterically, which is pointing you out to look outwardly. 
and the exoteric interpretation of the Bible has always been given to the public for everyone to interpret it that way. But when it comes to the esoteric understanding of the Bible, which is the true inner understanding of the Bible to empower you, to teach you that you have a power that you can use to achieve your every desire, and that power is the power of the Creator, and that the Creator lives within you, and to believe in yourself, and to know that you are to be responsible for everything that happens in your life, because you're responsible for everything that happens in your life. When it comes to that, you must know the laws, all of the laws that governs all of humanity, like the law of mentalism. That's a law that governs all of humanity. No one can escape from it. That is why there's no one in this world can tell them for one thing that was done in the Bible that wasn't false at all, or that wasn't false imagined, that wasn't false psychological. And that is why the true interpretation of the Bible is that the Bible addresses the human mind. And must be interpreted psychologically. It is not literal, neither is it secular history. So anyone who teach you to believe in a God or a Savior or a Redeemer outside of yourself and have you to believe in any Savior outside of yourself, they are false. So if you believe me, you have to come to your own decision. Okay? And let me just end here by saying, those who would have followed the message of William Brennan and believe that a squeeze is going to come on the earth, there's only one way you can escape from a squeeze on the earth is you knowing how to use your creative power to achieve your every desire. And you cannot do that if you do not understand that everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. And do not understand what is a miracle. When you read of a miracle in the Bible, if you do not understand it uh, scientifically, you will never be able to understand it spiritually. And those who know it and can create consciously they are the one who can explain how the process really works, even spiritually and scientifically. That is why a person can go on their knees and pray to a God or save the outside of themselves and get results. And a person who do not believe in such a thing like that can go within themselves and have the same thing happen to them and have the same experience. But the thing is, the person who goes within himself according to Matthew 6, 6, and according to, to Psalm 4, 4, and according to Psalms of Solomon, chapter 3, verses 1 to 4, if you understand the secret right there, okay? Those who do that, they will be able to explain it scientifically and show you how it works and why you could do it consciously. So I think I'll give you enough to think about and enough to chew upon so you would know that I'm not here just speaking, but I'm here to uplift humanity. I'm saying to you, believe in yourself because the devil is your self-doubt and you must put all self-doubt under your feet. You must put the devil under your feet because the ne your negative thinking and your negative thoughts, those are the fallen angel. What is an angel? An angel is a messenger. What brings message to you and from you? It's your thoughts that bring message to you and from you. So if you have a negative fallen thought, that's why they're speaking about you having a devil or you having a demon, so you have to overcome all of that. That's why you're told, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, if there be any virtue in it, you must what? Think on these things. A pastor, a, a, a pastor, a prophet, or whoever they call themselves, they could never speak to you. And it was not for mental and for psychological. And the only sermon anyone could preach in this world is to tell you to do this and don't do that. To do this and to don't do that. And you can never do anything in this world that wasn't false at all. Every action is the expression of a thought. So with that being said, as I said before, I think I would have given you enough. I want to say thank you very, very much for listening to me. And those are just those words are just food for thought. Think upon them. I'm not here to condemn and judge. I'm just here to put things in it right for please. You be the judge.